Happy summer. It's finally here. Yay, I've been enjoying my kids. I hope everybody's been enjoying some warm weather, some not so nice around here lately. Um, I wanted to kind of explain my standing beautiful project that I'm working on and the why behind it. So I work a lot with women all over the country. Sometimes we do FaceTime or calls and we, we really go over different techniques and tools that I've learned that have helped me find my connection to God and spiritually heal from trauma. Um, but what I found is these women are going, okay, we've worked for hours, we've done the work, I'm doing my journals, I'm doing this. And they go to leave their house and they still are hurting. So just the past few months, I have noticed it in myself, even on um, a normal day, sticking my hair in a bun with my, my glasses on and a t-shirt. That's not something I would have done years ago because I was so afraid that my pain inside of me would show on the outside if I wasn't dolled up. I, I hid behind a lot of clothes and makeup and money thrown at trying to mask who I was. And what I've been finding the past few months as we find our truths inside, we also have to work on finding them on the outside. What makes you feel beautiful? And I've been saying I give you permission to go and find what makes you feel beautiful. And I have been on a mission to do the same for me. I found certain makeup, certain skincare, amount, amounts of sleep, the amount of exercise. What makes me feel beautiful doesn't have to be a worldly thing. And that was a really bizarre concept because for the girl, I was the girl that couldn't go to the gym for the last five years because it would be a trigger. And a lot of it was a trigger of, I don't want anybody to look at me and say, oh, she's not very pretty, no wonder. Remember, she's that, that girl from that story. So that was the main trigger. And it wasn't always having to do with the people in the past, but the fears from the past for me. So as I've been really evaluating what makes me feel beautiful, I have all of these ideas that I want to share. I want you to know that your skin can heal. The stress and the, the acne and all of the problems that go on with our skin after trauma, it's mainly because we just don't have the tools yet. Um, and then this makeup that I found that I love, I want to share. I've been putting it on people's faces for weeks and I love it. It's What it's doing is it's given me the confidence to um, be more than just a broken girl. It's given me the confidence when I walk out of my house, even if I'm in a t-shirt with my hair in a bun and my sunglasses on my head, I still feel beautiful because I'm not hiding anymore. I hope that makes sense. So what this project is gonna be on, I have an Instagram and a Facebook, Standing Beautiful. I'm just gonna share ideas. Maybe share workouts, maybe share meals, share makeup, share face stuff, share how to better go to sleep at night, all the things that are helping me physically that are helping me ignite what I've been working so hard spiritually and emotionally. We can work all day. I've been working with a girl and she was like, you know what, I've been growing out my hair and every time I leave the house, I, I wanna look like the other woman that my husband chose because then maybe, maybe, maybe he would've chose me if I would've had her same hair. And one day she was like, you know what, actually no, I'm gonna cut my hair. I don't want her hair, I want my hair. And that's when we start to break away from putting ourselves in a mold that we think that we have to be in or afraid to put too much time on the outside. I'm not asking you to put too much time on the outside, but I am asking you to find what makes you feel beautiful. I wanna hear your ideas. I want you to email me pictures of what you found that worked. If wearing jewelry that, that clings every day, every time you hear it, my bracelets from my sweet little Lula Bella, a bunch of them say you are enough and every time I hear them clink, I think of that truth. And every time I look in the mirror and I don't feel like I'm hiding behind makeup anymore and I just feel bright, I remember that truth, that I'm enough. Every time I go to put on my high heels to go to the park, but then I'm like, you know what? I love my tennis shoes because then I can run and I can play. And when I'm playing with my kids, I'm enough. And they tell me I'm enough because they feel loved and I feel loved. What is it that makes you feel beautiful? Because when you leave your house today, if you don't feel beautiful on the outside, 
with the little things, the little five minute routine of makeup or whatever it is that makes you feel beautiful, you're not going to show your truth. And when something happens to trigger you, you're gonna feel even further away from the truth inside that you've been working on, that we've been talking about these trauma. We can work all day, we can write journals, but if you don't feel like the beautiful person God created you to be, what changes can you make right now to help you feel them? Those truths are there inside. And when we can align standing beautiful, when we can align the outside with the inside, the beauty of your body, I don't care what size you are, I don't care how bad acne scarred your face, That's that's been a problem that I've had to really work on with some of these different techniques, but you're still beautiful. I don't care how many people have told you you aren't, you are. And we can find a way to help the inside beauty that you have been working so hard to find match the outside and the outside match the inside so you feel like a person who stands up in front of people and says, like I talked about on Saturday, I teach art for a lot of my kids' classes and at the beginning of the year it's like, hi, my name is Titus and I made this picture and it's stupid and they sit down and now I'm like, uh-uh, no, you get up and you own that art project. You created it, you're beautiful. I want you guys to do the same with your outside and your inside. Hi, my name is Ashley. Yes, I have a story and yes, it was not the one I chose, but I'm here right now and I'm choosing to stand beautiful because I am enough. That's the girl I want you guys to be. In your sunglasses, in your messy hair. I don't think I've brushed my hair today and I don't even care because I feel beautiful and I am enough. And I hope you can follow along. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna teach you ideas that work for me and I want you to teach me ideas that work for you because I sometimes still am not there. And I hope that you're not either because we all have a long way to go in finding what makes us be able to stand beautiful.